Thank you. Good night. Have a great night. Uh, my name's Darren. Thomas from the Stacks. Back is I see them is I see the floor. Whipper than it's warming. Back is I see them is I see the floor. Whipper than it's warming. For Johnny and the Beep Beeps. And my name's Pierce Fleming, the singer. I'm Paul Finnegan, bass player. You hear about me, yeah. But you went all the way, my name's Jane. What's your game? Yeah, we'll see what's you together. Yeah, she did probably the brain in the shame. Dang! What's your game? We're a nine a eight piece now. We used to be a nine piece reggae band. And playing around around five years together. Steve from the Ramblers. And Pete from the Ramblers as well. I'm Alan, a presenter and a sound engineer in the Near FM sessions. Dara, uh, presenter and I guess sound engineer from time to time as well. Yeah, when we mix uh, it up. Alan's away. We mix it up. Yeah. At this stage, we've, like, we've been going for five years, so it's been a long run. The show's a, an hour long show. It's actually quite a. It, the format hasn't changed much since uh, in the five years, which I guess shows it's good to begin with. But um, yeah, it's basically a half hour with the band and then a half hour of music and entertainment guides and sort of gig guides and that sort of thing. You see the car drive away today. Make all things pay, that's all I should do. A box of notes from my blue phone. Every place I look, you'll pay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back is what I see, damn, is I see the floor. Way for the next war, then. Back is what I see, damn, is see, I want you, you want me. Near FM sessions always has like a really wide group of eclectic bands coming on so to gather them all together and put them on the same line it's really good yeah a lot of uh, people that wouldn't have heard your music before as well because they mightn't have been into that kind of music like they already wouldn't have been in the same venues as stuff like that you know what i mean so we pick up a few fans you never know they um gave us a bell and said look we're doing this thing it's the fifth birthday in rfm and we'd really like us to do it like you know dave had seen this play before obviously so that's how we got onto rfm in the first place so like he asked us what we do this as well. Well, the reason we do it is because we think there's a, a market for bands out there, a lot of Irish bands who aren't sort of getting enough radio play, um, and we're trying to help them get more radio bro broadcast play. And we also, you know, there is a fun element that en we enjoy doing what we do. So I guess that's another reason we do it. The free men and the women of my land, they can't stand the fat cats. There's only one a week, um, so we've at this stage we've, like we've been going for five years, so it's been a long run. Um, but one a week is sort of the market that we like. If we were to have five a week, we'd run out of bands. Um, at the minute, we're getting enough bands that we could probably have two, three bands in a week. But we don't know how long. You know, music, especially music, changes and the amount of bands in the area change. So at the minute, one show a week just about fills the niche. We've done a few radio slots with them, like kind of interviews and stuff with that, and uh, I'd heard a bit of music from them and heard just people talking about them basically, so we, we recorded our album there about, uh, we released it there last April, so we just had a copy of it and I sent it into the guys and then they were just, they gave us a shout, so they said pop in at some stage, so. We probably need more of these around, like there's, 
it's really hard to set up your own gigs all the time and it's really hard to get you know people people can't afford to come to gigs really these days and it's I think I guess it's more value for money if you get a taste of a, a bit of every type of music it's good it should be more of them I think yeah and it saves me bringing in my drum kit to all the gigs as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah it's good crack yeah it's been about three years since we did a live gig, so we said it was about time we did one, and then we just copped the fact that it was going to be five years old, so we said, well, the two kind of aligned, and it seemed like a good idea. Most of the sort of planning and uh, stage stuff was down to Alan, mostly. I guess so, but we all yeah. did. We all did our part together, as well, yeah. yeah. Um, we stick to what we sort of knew, what we, what we could do playing best. To, playing to know? our strengths, I guess. Okay, exactly, yeah. It's something we could look at doing annually. Again, there's a lot of... Uh, I'm sure, as you all know, there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes that you don't see. So there is a lot of work put into something like this. Um, it could work at an annual thing, yeah. So while the four of us started the show, the four I've just mentioned, Chloe, Alan, Dave and Dara, have taken it to an absolutely new level. And uh, you should be very proud of yourselves. And Near FM is very proud and grateful to you for everything you do. And we love the fact that we embrace new Irish talent and we're going to continue to do that. So well done, lads. Yeah, well, we're really happy, and we're really happy that the station got behind it as well, and then um, we're able to help us out with, like, you know, some funding for it and such, um, and it's just, it's really good. People, that, like, Near FM is a great station in itself because, as I say, it's mostly volunteer-run, um, but they're good for, you know, they, they help their volunteers out a lot, lots of training and the equipment up there and the station itself is really good, and they're very accommodating, so in that sense, yeah, Near FM, fair play to them too.